thank you so much for joining me. We're going to be doing some intense cardio today. Just standing in one place and just hopping around, trying to get the heart rate elevated, just like you were if you were biking or bicycling or running. But just in your living room, in your bathroom, in your kitchen, at work, wherever you are, you can just stop and do these moves, get your heart rate elevated, and get a little cardio in your day. So let's open up the body. Big giant stance, legs far apart, arms wide. Bring it down and up. You don't have to bring it down too far. Just bend your knees a little bit. Good and up. Inhale. Good and twist and twist. Just get the blood flowing before we start. Good. Keep it here. Breathe. Inhale deep. Keep the body lifted, core tight. Good. Keep going. Excellent. Good. And just flow it out here. Water, water, water. Flow like water. Good. And back up. All the way up. And twist. And bring it down. And knee up. And knee up. Just slowly get the blood flowing. Good. Keep it going. Try to get all the way up to your chest. All the way up to the chest. Really use those abs to pull up the knee. Good. Breathe. Excellent. Now just kind of hop side to side and then bring it to center. Hop it out here. Very gentle to start. Kind of balancing on your tippy toes, bringing that heel up, heel up, heel up, and then adding a little bounce to it. Get the heart rate up slowly. You can get a stretch in the hips if you like. Really stretch out the hips with it. We're going to start really bouncing in a minute. Increase the pace. Now we're going to bring our heel up. Try to touch our thigh, okay? We're gonna get a nice back of the thigh workout. Really sculpting right here and getting cardio. Okay? Return and start lifting. So you're basically running in place, but you're bringing your heel all the way up to your thigh. You should start feeling it in the back of your thigh, just very gently, slowly. Good. You can just rest your arms on your hips, not doing anything with the arms right now. Keep everything lifted. Posture is excellent. Chin up, head back, shoulders back and down. Very gently, keep it going. It's really easy to forget about the feet and let them drop, but bring that foot all the way up to that thigh. Work the back of that thigh. Good. Keep it going. If you need to cool it down and rest, that's fine. Just kind of bring down the intensity a little bit anytime you need to throughout these workouts. And then just pick it up and join right back in. Okay? Excellent. Don't forget about the feet. Lift up those feet. You can even point your toe if you're feeling fancy. Okay? Good. If you want to really keep it up, try to really push and pop up off the floor and get a nice high jump into it, okay? If you're not really feeling anything and you want to boost the intensity, make your jumping a little higher. Breathe. And just forget that you're exercising. We're not exercising. We're sitting on the beach. Soaking in the sun. Okay, keep it here. Don't forget about the feet. Touch those thighs. Good. Little while longer. Breathe. Excellent. And just slow it down. And catch your breath. And just dance it out right here. 
Excellent. Woo! Should feel good. You can rest your hands on your hips if you like. And pump it out, pump it out gently. Excellent. The next workout, the second one, is just going to be pulling out and stepping to the side. Okay? Just like this. Okay? Very, very easy. So before we work in the back, now we're working the side. Okay? And as you pull over, pull your knee. The farther up you get your knee, the more of an intense workout it is, and you're actually getting some ab resistance in there as well. Okay? But just start out kind of gentle. And if you want to get a stretch in the hip and really stretch the hip as well, go for it. Really take advantage. Just milk that movement as much as you can. Good. Keep it here nice and gentle. You can throw the arms in there if you like. Or if that's just a little too much, just keep it right here. Keep it right here. Awesome. And just jog it out, jog it out. Side to side, stretch it out. Good. And you get to the point in a cardio workout, what I kind of call a cardio trance. You could feel like you could just keep going and going, even though you're gasping for air and your heart rate is just banging away. You're in a trance and you can just keep going forever. The more you do cardio, the more you'll experience that. So find that cardio trance and just kind of zoom out and keep it there. Good, don't forget to breathe. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Get that air, that clean air in your body and then push out the waist. In and then out. Fill up your lungs. And out. Milk it. Get those hips in there, those arms, and the knee. Boom. Okay. Keep it here. Good. Just zoom out. Close your eyes and just kind of meditate. If that helps, don't forget to breathe. Get those hips in there. A little while longer and relax. And just pump it out. Just lift up the heels gently and relax. Let the heart rate stabilize a little bit before we move on to jumping jacks. The grand finale with arms. Okay, relax here. We're gonna need our strength for this last workout. Keep it here. If you need a break, and go get a drink of water, bite of fruit, something juicy and hydrating. Excellent. Whew. Push it out here. Make sure you feel okay enough for this next workout before you start. Don't want anyone having any issues. Especially if you haven't done cardio in a long time. Feel free to just kind of break, bend over, shake it out, and then join right back in, okay? Stay within your safety range, always. Good. Okay. Let's just push it out first. I'm going to be nice and energized for these jumping jacks so we don't have to stop right after we start. Good. Stretch it out side to side. Get those arms warmed up. Jumping jacks are a wonderful arm workout. If you haven't done jumping jacks since you were like in PE class, when you're an itty bitty tiny person, it's gonna be a little bit of a wake up call. 
I remember the first time I did jumping jacks after years, I was like, whoa. Okay. All right, now just, just do as many as you can do. When you start to feel a burn, just keep going. And then when you start, if you start to feel short of breath, just stop. Okay, just do as many as you can do. Remember, something is always better than nothing, okay? So it's just gonna be out. Bring the hands nice and clean together. Feet apart, here and here. Hands down by the side. And try to make it nice and clean, not all over the place, okay? But just do your best, okay? The more you do it, the better you'll get. So nice and clean, out and in, clap the thighs. Clap and clap. Feet, nice and clean, out and then right back together. Out and then right back together, okay? Out and here, out and here, okay? Get a drink of water if you need to. And just start, just go as far as you can. Start out slowly. Good, keep going. Doing these very slowly. Good. Always breathe. Keeping a nice steady breath. It's very meditative, but it'll kind of help you take your mind off the burn. Good. more and then we'll do a warm down cool down warm down <laughs> ten nine eight seven six five four three two one and one more bam excellente give yourself a big hug Pull it over. Good. And up. Excellent. Okay. Keep it going. Just nice and gentle. Excellent. Breathe. Let it out. Whew. How do you feel? Nice and out of breath. Blow it out like water. Whatever you feel like your body wants to do, just do that movement. Okay, that's usually what I do. Just whatever my body wants to do. If you feel like you need to move your arms, move your arms. If you feel like you need to stretch your hips, stretch your hips, hips. Your body will tell you what it wants to do, what it needs to do. Okay. You don't have to do exactly what I'm doing for the cool down, just keep it moving because obviously your heart rate needs to decrease slowly. Okay, and up and down. I like to just kind of pounce it out until my heart rate drops back to normal. Get some arm movement in there. Good. Excellent, bring it out and around. Big hips. Woo. And reverse. Beautiful, and twist, twist it out. Breathe. Very gentle twist, you don't want to Work your muscle too hard. Okay. Okay, so let's do a nice, intensive cool down here. Just flow it out. Arms out and over. Out and over. Out. Breathe. And out. And pay attention. Be sensitive towards your hands too. Arms, wrists, hands, fingertips. Okay, arms, wrists, hands, fingertips. Good, all the way down to the tips 
tips of your fingers. Be very self-aware of everything about your body. Close your eyes if you need to relax more. Good. nice wide stance if it makes you feel better. Again, do what your body wants to do. And down. Touch the floor and up. Touch the floor and up. And down. Keep it here. Bend over, keep your abs straight, your back flat. Okay, and up. Reach back, hold. And just keep it here, wiggle the fingertips. Inhale deep, really fill up those lungs. Push it all out. And bend over, touch the ground. Straight above, hold, inhale deep, and out, and lean it back. Let your pelvis help you, tighten your abs, push that pelvis. You know, my legs are totally straight, pelvis is pushed forward. Relax, and come down. Good, and just twist it out. Just let it go. Let it go. Like your three year old child just playing in the pool without a care in the world. Let it go. Twist and breathe. Just be silly with it. Silly, silly. Silly, silly. Excellent. Okay, bring it over. Stretch. Mm. This should feel wonderful right here. Again, arms, wrists, fingertips. Pull, 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 pull. Inhale deep and exhale. Pull, pull, pull. Pull those fingertips towards the wall and up. Back, shoulders back. Chest out, pull it down and up. And again, just kind of rock it out here. We don't want to go totally comatose. We still have the rest of the day to get through. Let's bring that energy a little bit back up. And we're good to go. Thank you so much for watching. Please be sure and favorite this video, and please join me on my channel. See you again soon.